An awful sight in Venice tonight as we head into this Memorial Day weekend. Someone vandalized a monument to Vietnam War soldiers. KKL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live with a look at the damage. Jeff. Well, Elsa and Lena, you might call this a cover up of some of the names that were missing during the Vietnam War. That's because this memorial is now covered with graffiti. And as we pan our camera down this way, you can see that the vandalism stretches for about 100 feet. Oh, just sadness. Think of all these people. They're gone. Stuart Oscars welled up as he looked at what some people in Venice consider an insult against veterans on Memorial Day weekend. Just knocked me out. So sickening. Sickening because this mural on Pacific Avenue near Sunset Court was recently vandalized from end to end. This isn't just any piece of art, it's a memorial dedicated to service members who were listed as missing in action during the Vietnam War. I can remember the Vietnam War and how friends went to the war and bodies came back. George Francisco is the vice president of the Venice Chamber of Commerce. He also runs a nonprofit called Veterans Foundation Incorporated. It's a desecration. I mean, it's, it's, it's very simple. There's no sort of other way around it. It, it isn't graffiti. In March, Francisco helped to bring a replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial to Venice Beach. You see, his father was a combat veteran of that war who also helped to organize the effort to put up the memorial in the late 80s. And I've known the sacrifice these people made an incredibly unpopular war. So to continue the mistreatment of Vietnam veterans is somewhat shocking, somewhat shocking and, and, and quite sad. People on the streets say the memorial was tagged a few days ago. They say the graffiti matches some of the other ones in the neighborhood. Only this time, things went too far. Somehow it has to be taught that this is not, this is not a good idea to do. This is actually stupid. And so far, the LAPD tells us that it is not actively investigating this case. We also reached out to LA Councilman Mike Bonin, who's in charge of this district, to see if anything could be done about this, but we haven't been able to get a hold of him.